siren noise. Woo! Excuse me, sir. Uh, did you know you were speeding? Um, I see a license and registry. Uh, this is neato, huh? Neon. <laughs> Come on, back in the story. Oh, that, is that Como news? I'm in trouble. Let's go. I can't see where I'm going. It's gonna be a good movie, eh? Let's see what we have here to eat. Give us a two for one special. Zoom in on those. These are a little old. We have refried chicken. Sort of like refried beans, you know, a double make. We have everyone's favorite guy. Here's your brother, Mark. What? Here's Bill's brother. I can't focus. Oh, that's okay. Let's go. Zoom out, eh? Everyone's favorite. Bo, tell them where we are. We are. Let's see. We have to interview the guy. Oh, okay. And over here we have the wonderful paneling that's been drawn up. I can't no. see where I'm going. Mark, just walk straight ahead. Sir, do you know where we are? <laughs> he knows. We're making a movie. We're making a movie. On our trip. Uh, yeah, you can get some free advertising here. <laughs> Shasta. Pardon? Shasta, Mount Shasta? Mount Shasta. And what's this place called? Y Pardon? Y the Y Easy Mart in Mount Shasta. <laughs> let's keep going. Oh, we rolled. Oh, our friend, the police officer. Let's go interview him, eh? Okay. Oh, oh, you made it through oh. the door. Let's zoom in. Exxon. Exxon. The Easy Mart. I zoom Wait, in. look at that. Car wash, burgers, and other stuff. Oh, oh there he is. There we passed him. Push the same button. I missed it. Oh, I'm tilting the camera. Oh, it looks like we're speeding. brotherly experience where all great young men go when they're... That's beautiful. Is that great? How's my hair doing? Oh, I gotta oh. keep my hands on the wheel, eh? Oh, uh, yeah. You quit distracting me. Well, well... Oh, what's this car for us? Woo! Yeah, oh, I'm zooming in. It looks like we're going super fast. Go ahead, follow. Let's hear your pretty good. Oh, he's old glasses and a hat. Boom. Behind the wheel. I'm a little sleepy, Mark, now that it's 10.30. Still light over here. Weird things in eastern Washington. <laughs> <laughs> well, back to Dimolay. Oh, Dimolay. Oh, it's a rough road. Jeez. Oh, oh, man. God, they gotta pave these roads. A few little dips over there. Mexicans too, you know. Hey, we can have a guacamole dip. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Just making them up as I go, you know. <laughs> but uh, anyway. Well, you know on those dark, stormy nights, the rains are coming down, everything's hard, and it's dark. We got you back in the corner and nowhere else to go. Well, that dark rain. 
three, mile one one one. How much farther is it, Bo? Well, we have another 272 miles to go. No, I'm just kidding you. I like to joke around a bit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, we have another 20, 10, 15 miles. Okay. Well, let me think for a minute. Are you excited? Oh, my sides are bursting. <laughs> I'm excited. Me too. Here, let me shoot for a while while you talk. Who's going to drive? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> oh! <laughs> More rough road. Oh, God, look at the dips. Gosh, we got to drive. Oh, here comes a short turn. Yeah. Ooh, thanks, man. Stay straight. Uh oh. Gosh, there's a lot of Texacos around here. What? Cool and fascinating scenery of eastern Washington. Not to leave one board for too long. And the mono tree on the top of the elegant mountain. Let's zoom in. It's beautiful. Did you see the bugs on the window yet, eh? No, no, no not yet, eh? How much farther now? Oh, listen to the song. What's it called? Sam uh, Nagel got a big old bug. He does. Whoa, my car's acting up again. Uh oh. Look at that speedometer. Click. Oh, edit, edit, edit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I. Anyway, it's an exciting tape. But see, this will be good. So 20 years from now, we can look back and say, oh. So well, was... Mark, you ready to slam it in reverse? <laughs> <laughs> and this wonderful driving event is brought to you by the Extension Cards Unlimited. A dance production company is sponsored by Bo Linkers, Mark Campbell, and Bill Turner, the leaders in dance production. An outstanding fee with many different opportunities and prices to obtain. We have fog, spotlights, rain lights, beer balls, disco lighting, and much, much more. With the latest quality sound by Depeche Mode, Erasure, Pet Shop Boys, and of course, Gary Manilow. <laughs> That's beautiful. Is that beautiful? Print it. Printed. It's printed. Print it. So I'll buy a co-sponsorship of Mo. Actually, Mark, do you know where to go? I'm a little lost. I don't know. It's some big hotel in Yakima. Did no, you bring the actually, address? No, I did. It looks no like No address? Did. Well, we gotta have faith, Mark. Let's just drive till we see the rainbow of Dimalay flying through the air. And we smell the odor of J.P. DePew foaming in the mouth. Just uh, kidding. No that's offense. okay. We're voting. Wait, get that sign! What sign? Oh, hi, right, right, up, up! Oh, it's too late. Oh, no. What was it? It was Lost in Kardashian, Big Cold Leonard's. Oh. It was cool. It looks like one of them new ones, too, you know, with the high fidelity. You know, there's a, lot of there's a lot of tape on here with just a road and watching a truck in front of us. Is there? You realize there's been a truck in front of us for a long time? Oh, I know. It's just been different trucks. Oh, is this Wenatchee up ahead? We're in Wenatchee now. Right? All right. Look at that. Good old horse lane. Okay, now look for a big hotel. No, Mexico. look for a Mexican. A Mexican. Just, just kidding. Just kidding. Wait, get that cool light. Where? Up to the left. Way down there. Oh. You okay. see it? Yeah. It's I think the circus is in town. Really? I don't see any punks anywhere. Let's go right on some rides. Go ride a ride? Do you have a video camera? No, yeah. I might, might get ear sick and all. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're getting car sick. That'd be kind of cool, do a roller coaster. And... Hey, it's spa sale, looks like to me. What do you say? Low oh, right. Oh. Spa sale. Spa sale. Oh, wow. Is this tape going to be in color? Oh, of course. Good. Hey, we're not some two bit operation. We're going with the highest quality. But, Mark, I wonder what the poor people are doing. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, but I don't know what the rest of the people are doing tomorrow. What, eh? Going to school. Oh. <laughs> There's that cool light again. That's cool. I'm zooming in. Magnavox. Oh, it looks like That's a stadium pretty. mark to me. That's F.A. No, it's Nito. We don't see those kind of words up here. Who knows what they stand for? Oh, that's true. Motel. Is that what we're saying? Motel? I don't know. It wasn't the Starlight, was it? I don't know. It was some double-decker big one. Pan I'm sure I can find it somewhere. We stand there. How about Smitty's? Where's that? Oh, we just passed it. Sorry. Too late. Sorry, folks. Wait, what's that sign? Get the neon sign. For all you do. Where? This bud's for oh. you. Oh, it's too far away. Budweiser. 
<laughs> Look, it's up Andy Camps. Hey, it's, hey, to our viewers, I got a joke to tell you. You can't tell those kind of jokes on TV. Why not? No one's handicapped in our chapter. Oh, be quiet. We don't want to hear about handicapped people. Except for no. Just kidding. Hey, look, there's McDonald's. It's kind Get of that cool lighted up sign. You know what McDonald's is like? <laughs> it's like, well, everybody's got one. Just put it that way. <laughs> a nose. Oh, is this a red light? This is the first time we saw. Oh, we stopped at that. Easy mark. Oh, you know what's here? What? Denny's. I'm zooming in on it. Denny's and the Orchard Inn. Quite an experience. We'll get into that further later in the trip. Anyway, this is Wenatchee. Welcome to it. And my car has made it here in one piece. What's I have faith. I really do. We made it. Wait, I think we should turn and go straight. Yes. There's the Thunderbird. Can that be it? How about the Igloo Tavern? No, no Igloos here, eh? Oh. Hey, there's another commercial for you. Uh oh. Upper Let's zoom in on those guys. Upper left. Where? Upper left. Oh. See the Pepsi? Yeah. This show also. Well, this, well, this show also brought to you by Pepsi Cola of the new generation. Pepsi, the cool crisp drink. Wait, here goes Michael Jackson drink. through the can. Wow! <laughs> Time to change the song. This is the cure. They're in our back seat. Actually, we turned the camera off real fast. You guys didn't know it. Yeah. Is this just where it is? is? Take them all out to Mother's No, it's not the Thunderbird, is it? I don't think that's it. That's not it. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, Bo, we don't know where we're going. Well, Godfather's Pizza. Oh, then we gotta be close. We know where we're going to dinner now. Oh, of course. You still filming? Dude, yeah, there's a lot of fast food around here, too. Yeah, and a lot of slow food. Look at that slug. And a lot of fast women. Just kidding. Oh, right. Clean it up, eh? I'm just kidding. Jeez, like our viewers will take this seriously. Okay, don't take anything serious. Eh? Yeah, don't take anything Hey, did you get the snook of Indian? Yeah. That's so is rad. Woo! The sky bleeding from the sun. Hot guy. Oh, I think I see it. Where? See that big building up there on the left? Yeah. Way down there? Yeah. On the left? Yeah, way down there. You think that's it's it? Real high. I bet it is. I've only been there once, you know. Oh gosh, I bet our viewers. change the song. Our viewers are in suspense. Back to this song. I like it. Wait. It's over, eh? What the hell? Oh yeah. Mission to rid Wenatchee of all crime. <laughs> In this week's episode, Bo takes on Conclave. Hey, you get out of the street! Are we there yet? Oh no, that's the West Wenatchee Medical Center. Darn! Close. No, that's it. It's not it. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. How do you know? I know where I'm going. Did you really know when you were lying this whole time? No, I didn't know this whole time. It can't be. I think it is. I don't think it is. Well, let's go check it out. Go. This is Dimalay. We're here. We're conflict. And this is the spot. Come with me. It's just like Mr. Rogers or something. Good evening, man. Just some of my time. Technicalities. Good Still running, aren't you? I'll zoom around the place. Yeah, oh. get a good shot. Oh, here you go. Yeah, can we have the number of Danny Houlihan's room? 623, but he's not in it. Then where do I get my keys in my room? Oh, what's your name? Bo, Lingren. <laughs> Lingren. Hey, Bo, this is the place. Bo, Lingren. You were right. I was lucky. I was wrong. You don't say. You don't say. You don't say. Who was it, Bo? You didn't say. Anyway, I'm going to zoom around the place. Oh. Down the hall. Can we get two? He's in my room, too. What's his name? Mark Campbell. I have Mark Campbell in my Oh, room. he's in my room. He paid. I've just been hosed. He's in the east. <laughs> I've just been hosed extremely. I'm, I'm serious. He, he is. Where's Danny Hulan? Just, just give me your name. They won't, no, they won't give us another key. Well, that's fine. We'll have is to it, are you still running? Yeah, I am. Get a picture of that face. <laughs> okay, let's go. So the, key. the key. The uh, key. And the room. 
Can you instruct us to this room? Where about this is? Straight down the hall. Straight down the hall. You bet. Let's go. The lighting doesn't look too well. Look. Uh oh, lights on. That's okay. Don't worry. Follow me in a ways. You know what this reminds me of? What? Miami Vice. Miami Vice. Yeah. Just kidding. Anyway, that's holes. They don't have my name on the list. Keep going. We're almost there. This camera's really heavy. Obi Wan, you're my only hope. Okay. You made me not the list. Glad I gave my name that. Oh, look out for that cart. Oh, we're all the way at the end. Beautiful. I think these are just temporary rooms. Okay. Shh. Quiet. You ready? Yeah. Didn't work. Turned it the wrong way. <laughs> I think they hear it's coming. Fuck! Oh, hi! How's it going? Great, are you in my room? Yes. Is he in here too? I don't know. I didn't think anybody was in here. We're making a movie. Yeah, what are. a bust. Come on. We'll get some good light. Tell us. Well, the situation as is, is that I have a place to stay and Mark is getting holes. I right, sure you're talking about oh. And here we have the vacuumer. Look at him go. Look at that grace. Back to Mark. Okay, let's go out there. Okay. Just like this old house. <laughs> Man, you see what we've done with this interior, this light. This light, splendid, eh? Oh, this floor, cool. Oh, this is a shallow pool, a maximum of three and a half feet. It's a real bummer. It doesn't get any deeper. Hey, how are you doing, eh? Camera can make him run every time. Oh, do you have a piano here? Here we go. No, see an intro. What are you going to play? It's rolling, Mark. You better say something. Uh, okay. Uh, intro. This is a beautiful and touching song. And it's been a lot to me for a long, long time. It goes something like this. <laughs> Oh really? Let's play somebody. Play somebody. Play somebody. What? Oh. Play something good. Roll it. Hear that high fidelity sound. What a hit, what a hit, take a bow. Keep going, Mark. I don't know, just take take a better shot. Whoa, whoa. We have a limited view of Danny Houlihan and Doug Vaughn walking across the parking lot. Look at him go. This is a very rare shot. Fantastic DMLA advisors. Look at them. They're our heroes. They look ready for their vacation. They are here for DMLA. Those are the very people that have hosed me out of a place to stay tonight. No, not hose anyone. Here they come. Mark, go interview him. Hurry up. No, Just ask him a question. No, go interview him. What are you guys doing here? Oh, we're loitering. Hi, Felipe. You don't want to. Honey. You don't have to. Hey, what? Hey. Hey, four. It's one of the sweets up He didn't answer us. Mark doesn't have a place to sleep. This show brought to you by Pepsi. The choice of a new generation. Okay. Should we go up first? Yeah. Ooh, ah, 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 ooh, ah, ah, ooh, 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 ooh. Beautiful, went at you. Anyway, we're having some serious problems here. We don't know what the problem is. Yeah, we're going back down. Okay. Don't shoot me, Mark. Why? I don't feel very cocky. Have you ever ripped one on an elevator? <laughs> no, I want you to try it. Oh, no, I mean, no, I better not. Should I go smell up Pat Gaither's room? <laughs> I think I've been seriously hosed. Oh, not seriously, just a little bit. Let's go murder somewhere. Ready? Yeah. Whoa. Another brick in the wall. Signing off. Just like Pink Floyd. Yeah. Stop it. Stop. This 
is Conklin. Two. I'm buying three dimes out of the pot. <laughs> Whose bed is it? Is that? Yeah. You're working around, right? Keep yeah. filming, Mark. I am. Uh, you're gonna about to see the steal of the game. Thirty cents. I'm gonna give him a whooping. You're gonna see the steal of the game. Thirty here, cents. Mark. Yeah. I raise you 20. So what's that, 50 to me? Yeah, 50 oh, to me. 3, 4, 5, and 10, 20, 30, 40. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I lost a nickel, that's okay. <clears throat> and that's a dollar of mine, huh? Yeah, so you raise another 50. Another 50. No, he only got 30, so I have 70 to him. Here, Mark, get a close up of my cars. Oh. Mark. Hey, let me come around, eh? Now, you gotta remember, twos and one eyed jacks are wild. Wait, call you, Bo. I'm living on a focus yet. Twos and one eyed jacks are wild. You gotta put in 50. Let's go, Bo. I, I called you. You called me? Yeah. I say you five queens. I see your penis. <laughs> Don't give me that. You butt. <laughs> I have a full, full house. Huh. Uh, Not in this game, fun. my friend. Full house? Full hey, house. dealer always wins. Yeah. See, there's no such thing as five of that Yeah, the yeah, four of a kind beats a full house. So. Yeah. <laughs> Your history. God, this game is so much fun. Mm -hmm. Turkey. 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 Mark, have you ever played before? Weren't you teach me how to play like two days ago? And tell us what's happening. This is the fountain of youth. Many years, I don't know how many years, men were looking for the fountain of youth, just as the young uh -huh. But we found it. <laughs> okay. And here it goes. Show it to us. Huh? Show it to us. Okay. Stand back. Oh. Isn't that pretty? The fountain of youth. I like it. Hey, you want to turn on some of the lights and we can show them our light show too? Oh, sure. This is our room. Oh, I can just walk over here and... Oh, it's a little dark. Keep that on. Oh, we're going to play some music. Use some of our lights. And that probably looks really cool. Let me zoom out. And look, the TV's on too. Whoa. There's some music. Boy, that fountain's loud. It is, isn't it? Kind of like the black and white. Oh.
I'm Jess Forrest from Southern California, DMLA. How you doing? Where are you from? Yeah, we got the film studios down there. I'm looking for my big breaks. It's raining out there, so I'll stop here. <laughs> Let's run. <laughs> Go back on, go back on, come over here. I have to introduce you to, this is our Southern California Jurisdiction Sweetheart, Ms. Deborah Spangler. And this, this awkward thing with his arm around James Spangler. Hello. Hi. Hi. You are, because she's in my arm. No, no, don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> End of video. Loving family from no. Southern California. Uh, we're on a movie. Get so to jungle for them. Love all this attention. Jungle, cool. jungle. <laughs> Tap dance. Yeah. Table dance. Oh, yeah. Well, thank anyway. You. Should we film that beautiful castle? Yeah. Or how about this? That person snow. Where did that person go? It's 218 and three people are out Hello. in the halls. Hello. They're alive. Dead end. more. Thank you. 
choice of the new generation. What? Let's watch another More than a chapter. It's shoreline, shoreline chapter. chapter. Then again. How's it going, eh? Hey, Mark, how you doing? How's it Get going, eh? Movie, eh? How's it going, eh? Hi, Mark. What is this, a Canadian movie, eh? Hello, Hi, welcome to our movie, eh? Hi, Mark. Good day, eh? No, welcome to the movie, eh? This, I'm, I'm Bob, with my brother Doug. How's it going, eh? Like, the how topic today is movie. <laughs> Whoa! You got me a last linger in here. Whoa! Anyway. Stop me before you're ahead. What's happening? Are we competing in anything yet? Well, I don't know. I just... Hey, yeah. Mark, how you doing? We had a few, had a few people well, in that uh, balloon I'm, thing, you know? You know, they're like hopping well, out It was really and, uh, exciting. Yeah. 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 No, you are. You're a rookie. Thanks. Oh, what the heck? Hey, you're kind of violent, isn't it? Yeah, this is violent in advance, especially for the writer. He's the writer right now. He's the worst. Hey, there's Bo. Hey, who's in the little cage? Bo, we need to be inside. We need to be inside, damn it. We need to be inside. Just hang off the inside edge. Tire 
Yeah. I'm going to claim a protest on this because there's no way they can roll on something like that. Yeah. But you'll see the details at five. Down. Get out. Everybody down. What? Go on over. Get out. You're well on film. What are they going to do? It's going to be really hot. Ready? Oh. Get back. It's going to be hot. Sure, why not? Formulas to <laughs> knock engine knock and keep it running clean, smooth, and cool. And that Chill. Was back to the game. Up close, we're showing the intern details to an awful, awful protest. Step back, please. Step back. Step back. It must be on the camera. Yeah, let's I, I think we got the region switched. I think the regions got switched. Oh, we may have possible region switching. Really? We're taking yeah. a look at oh, the instant no, replay camera. Oh, we have the camera. Look out. We got to get good yeah. shots. Is the instant replay camera set? <laughs> oh, we don't have a winner. God's one. No winner. <laughs> we'll see the details in five. You obviously can see the very close race. Well, they gave the race to St. Helens after a true protest of lane switching. Details at five. It's getting pretty close to five, though. <laughs> no, it's still about 2.15. Oh, okay. Here, here we. Zoom in. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. How do you like the lane? Okay, four, three, two, one. You're on there. You're on there. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it! Cut it! Cut. Three, two, one. I just want to feel confident in the game. We have the wonderful extension of nominating a new regional sweetheart, which is the first in the history of Evergreen Region. Well, here we have Miss Tia Richie. The sweetheart brought up from T.H. Little is now regional sweetheart in the Evergreen Region. <laughs> Now see, as you can see, as you, oh now, now Tina, how do you feel about, not so close, how do you feel about this wonderful honor? See, as you can see, she is in complete... I am worthless! I'm just worthless, I can't... Oh, it's just, just worthless! Worthless. Just what it is. Yeah, it's worthless. That's beautiful. Wordless, not worthless. Get it straight. Okay. Should we print that? Well, okay. Okay. Okay, we must pan out now. And that's our interview with the Evergreen Region. Sweetheart. Hey, wait, zoom back in, zoom back in. Wait, gotta interview the tree. Interview the tree. Yeah, the the, the who's? Red my tree. Yes. That's it. Whoa, to the food. Say hi, Fred. As you can see, she's full of knowledge of the wonderful maple tree here today. Okay, we must cut it. This is three, two. Wonderful Olympiad. We have royalty here today, camera. and here they are. We have uh, <laughs> Tina Ritchie and Denise Shu, sweetheart of Shoreline Chapel, and the newly initiated sweetheart of the Evergreen Region. And, and there's our senior Fair. princess of Shoreline. Hi. <laughs> As you can see, they're a mighty Fair. happy bunch. Oh. Now, do you have any words for us? Please? This has been a very inspiring moment for me. This is great. You guys. <laughs> oh. How about you? Honey. Same. Same. Ditto. Deeply. Ditto. Ditto. Three. Say, what you guys see, doing with my woman? Man? They're all full of creativity. Here we go. Here we go. All three of them. Scale. I'm the uh, high. I'm a Heisman contestant for. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he plays football. Yeah. Macaroni and salad. And ask it how it enjoyed. Being Not very well. He doesn't right. say how well he plays football. He just he plays tries football. to play yeah, football. I, I yeah. Okay. 
Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Mark. I need a close up of this right here. Wait, okay. Commercial break here. Okay. This is a noodle from the famed Conclave Back Lunch. As you can see, the fine texture on the inside and the loose texture on the outside and the hollow, semi smashed filling of the cream cheese. And now we're going to witness the eating of this. Eat it, this way. On the ground. No! Oh! Okay, one more time. Uh, two noodles. Okay, two noodles. <laughs> Food fight! Oh! Here, <laughs> here, we'll let Steve it. Here, I'll get, I'll get a Steve. Oh! Hey! Here, Steve, I saved it. Okay, here, ready? here at Conley Media one more time. We have the magnificent Walter Yagen of the Occidentals chapter who has helped us immensely throughout the regional activity. Now Walter, do you have a few words for the camera? How do you feel about the current situation in the, in the Evergreen region? I'd like to say one thing. I don't like Jeff Sorensen because he threw me out of the sack race. You know, that's like an American. Oh, oh you want to be in the sack with Jeff? Is that yeah. what you're saying? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, exactly. I mean, I'm another Dan Rattler. He threw me here. out of his sack, you know? You know it. They don't know what okay. to do. Well, that conducts our interview with, anyway. yeah, with Walter here. Wait. By the way, he owns a 67 Ford. Mustang. Real nice. How are you? You guys, let's flex. No, cut it. You gotta zoom in on a shirt to get the beginning of the tape. Yeah. Okay, oh, that's on play. Am I taping? Yeah. I wanna do something. Oh, Is it on or off? It's on. Brother Tim! Tim! Currently, junior counselor, Shoreline Chapter. And I'm master counselor, Shoreline Chapter. And also, honorary I'm just a limo, has been credentials chairman. <laughs> yeah. And movie hey, director. Nobody. She keeps panning in and out. I think I'm getting dizzy. Hey. Yeah, me too. <laughs> this is this our man close to God back here. Open your mouth. Here, we're down here. here. Pan back, okay? Pan, Pan back. back. No, you're good. Oh, no, no. Cut, cut, cut. cut. <laughs> okay, wait. It's not on, is it? Yeah, it is. Turn it off. Hello, we're at Conclave 88 one more time at the Olympiad. And right now, we have Brother Blaine Fritz from Cascade Chapter, the newly appointed regional representative for the Evergreen region. He's here with us today. Now, what, do you, what do you have for us today? What do I have for you today? Louder, we have to hear you on the TV. Well, um, I have a lot of stuff for you today, like a lot of enthusiasm. Enthusiasm, there we go. Spirit! Spirit! Yeah, and what's the other one? I forgot. <laughs> I already got enthusiasm. Brotherhood! Yeah, there we go. She's on the ball today. Money! Money! I'm back in the sack race. Okay, cut it, cut it. Okay. I just turned it off. First out of the sack well, race, the then into the sack race. Now out of the sack race. Now out of the sack race. He's in and out of the bag well, more than, the than, 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 well, then I don't want to use me. I don't want to use John Holmes. Uh, oh, John Holmes. Right. Uh, yeah. But you got to jump in the sack with me? Come on. No. Oh, not today, okay. John. No, trying to quit. No, I'm mean, not going to sack. Not in the real sack. What can we do it? Are we, are we being interviewed right now? Yeah, we're on to you. You got to say hello, Mr. Camera. Hi, Mr. Hi, hello, Mom. Hello, Mr. Camera. Hi. Oh, wow. <laughs> Talking to him from space. He's throwing stuff. That was a big hurricane mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> and when actually, you know, they're all like that. Show, okay, show, cut. Show, show. Now look at how high he is. He's way off the ground. Oh. It's going to be an interview. We always hope the interview is going to be a handshake, okay? Okay. Hello, we're here with the wonderful Corey Richards. How are you doing today, Corey? <laughs> Gotcha! <laughs> I'll buy that one for a dollar. <laughs> this is wonderful Corey Richards here, and you're going to be in the stack race, aren't you? Yeah. He's, He's going to lead Shoreline. Oh, oh. <laughs> He's going to lead Shoreline. Now we have a scandal here. I don't know. I don't talk to Jeff. Due to uh, unsuitable content. content. We interrupt this program for an important message. Parents may wish to consider whether uh, content is uh, suitable for children. Don't so be careful. Oh! <laughs> Oh, you grass stained his shirt. Oh, oh, he grass stained. Get on camera. Remember, turn around. Grass stain from Wenatchee. Now let go.
Look at this shirt. Look at this wonderful shirt. Nothing's there. <laughs> anyway, this show brought to you by Shell. Oh, we already got with this. One, go, five, we're at Conclave 88 again at that wonderful Olympic. Olympics. The Olympiad. The Olympiad. And we have the honor of meeting Miss Terry Kelly, the past state sweetheart All right. of Washington. Clap, clap, yeah. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> you know, there's this big hairy ape standing behind you that's about ready to grab you. <laughs> no! Give it on her! <laughs> well, well, you have to take it from there. You know, I'm... No, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> I am so proud of Shoreline Chapel with all the guys they have here and everything. Yeah! I'm really proud of how they've done and, and progressed. And I think it's all because of me. Ah. You must make a comment editorial in here. This is the first interview of royalty we've had that's actually been intelligent. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Okay. Let's follow her. We gotta follow her. <laughs> Look out. Very quiet now. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, no, oh you didn't fall for it. Yeah. Got it. Print it. Print it. Very end of the event. How's he having it? It's real close. It's three All right, come on, Lance. Corey, Corey throw him down. They're trying hard. Here he goes. Hey. 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 Good shot here. Oh, they're on the one, two, three basis. As you can hear it, one, two, three, jump. Oh, they're on the hot method. Look at the determination on their face. There they go. It's one, two, three, hop. As you can see, Corey's staying on his feet pretty good. It's all the other guys. Yeah. Now they have to get one more guy in the bag. We'll be back to it in a minute. Yeah. Here we are. We're at the finish line of the race. Four people in the bag. As you can see him, Lance and Corey are keeping their way. Corey is staying up pretty good. The guy that front is jumping too far. Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 oh Lance down for the count! Lance is down. Well, it's still in the one, two, three hot method. As you have everyone's cheering. The crowd is going to chat. Look at that, look at that determination on Corey. And then, they, then the, the jokingness on Lance's face. And the other guy saying, like, why the hell am I here? Walter! Stay back! No, they're approaching the finish line. The other team finished four and a half minutes ago. We're still trying hard. No, they're still trying. They're starting the Olympia at This is a timed event. We have, I think. We've got to get some of our coaches out there that are, I think, rather frustrated at their athletes. Oh. Look at the, the, look at the expression. Yes. Every green region. Stop it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a more time. One more time. Evergreen came through with a whopping four minutes and 12 seconds. All right. Yeah. On your stomach. On your stomach. No, I can't. Okay. Beginning of a grass fight, yes. <laughs> this is cows feeding in the pasture. That's what we'll call this one. God, Wait, look at him. Cows in the pasture. What is he doing? He looks oh, it's one of them official military cows. You see that salute? Is he grazing? Just grazing for grass. Grazing. Oh, and chewing He's his eating. cud. He's just loving it. <laughs> Every minute of it. Five. Start on me. Ready? Four. What are doing? Three. Can you interview oh, you're on me first, right, Okay. What? <laughs> Rolling. Three, two, one. Okay, I'd like to introduce, we're at the wonderful 1988 Conclave Olympiad, and we're here with brother Jess Sorensen. All right! All right! Yeah. Yeah. And he's now, are you considered the past three representative yet, or not up yet? How is your official standing? Formally no, though, yes, but Formally no, but he will be, later this evening, he will be a past regional representative of the Evergreen region. Wow! Oh. Do you have any words for the camera? Smart ah. words for the camera! Louder now, words from the camera. What do you have to say to all your young viewers out there pursuing loyalty, America, and the DMLA way? Conservativeness. I feel for you, Blaine! Yeah. <laughs> okay, print the pyramids. We have a one to the camera. Excuse me. You put my pass. Take my pass. Take my pass. We have a wonderful pyramid going here. Excuse me. Hey, I'm shooting the back of your head there, my friend. They're trying hard. Look at that. Six on the bottom, then five, then four. It's going to be one big feat. 
Whoa. Step aside there, my friends. Johnny. They're working hard. Moody! This is history in the making. Olympiad again. This is Saturday, the wonderful day. <laughs> Out of here. And here we have oh, the junior princess, the shoreline Zimale. Two terrible ladies in the year 1987. Hi. Her name is Miss Denise Garlington. Do you have anything to say to the camera, Denise? Absolutely nothing, though. Nothing. She is speechless and shocked of our wonderful success this year's conclave. Well, I say let's okay. cut it. Hello. This is Bo. I'm here at 1988 Conclave Olympiad. We're at the basis, the foundation of every chapter. We are here to interview from the chapter of the year 1987, who led us to first place in volleyball, fourth place in basketball, made us grow and hold together the structure of everything. Right here, brother Mark Campbell, master counselor of Shoreline Dean Thank you. Brother Mark, do you have comments for us on this wonderful Conclave experience? Well, Conclave this year is really great, and um, I think our chapter, we're, we're really enthusiastic this year. We're having a lot of fun, and that's the bottom line. Dimele is fun. Dimele is fun. What do you say? Print it? Print it. Conclave at Olympiad one more time. I'm here to Olympia to initiate <laughs> Brother Corey Richards, senior steward, long sprint runner of Mitchell, Richville Bars. He was in the sack race, you saw him earlier today. Yes, the wonderful Corey Richards. Brother Corey. All right, Corey! Yay! Yay! This is Brother Corey. Now, Brother Corey, what do you feel about the, the policy in the Okay, I'm sorry, I shouldn't ask the irrelevant question. Ask what I feel about conflict. How do you feel about conflict? Well, it's a real blast. Is it, is it fun? Yeah. Okay. Enthusiastic? Yeah. Spiritual? Yeah. Almost as great as. Apple pie? Church. Hot fudge Sunday. Mom? Yeah. Oh, would, you, would you rather go to this or would you rather go to school? This. See, that sums it up right there. No, that's concrete. Yeah, and that's Corey, American attitude. Brother Corey is one of the many in our chapter. It's like the spider web effect with Mark being in the center. The spider webbing around the whole outside. Corey, Corey here holds us together and makes us a team. We want Bob. We want Bob. <laughs> Conclave again. This is a wonderful Olympiad, and I'm here interviewing, yes, Brother Steve Downing. He's the tallest guy in our chapter, and he leads us on in the basketball and all the ritual competitions. It's also Jacques de Molay. As you can see, he's been stretched upon the rack many a times. And right here, Brother Steve, stand up. Brother Steve, what are your comments on the whole effect? The whole effect? How do you feel about Conclave? I feel that, well, you know, it's a really neat experience, and I was really inspired inside, almost to oh. the point. In 1988 at the wonderful Olympiad, and we found wandering throughout the field the wonderful and glorious dad advisor of Shoreline Chapter, Dad Campbell. Dad Campbell, how are you doing today? That's you got to shake on camera. Uh -huh. Whoa! Whoa! I would just like to say that this is the finest group of young men I've ever been associated with. And I hope never to be associated with anybody else. <laughs> ever. Yeah! Yeah! You see, there's other great action shots being taken here, but ours is going to be the best. Uh, you want to get a small interview with him? Yeah, it's Brother Cameron. Do you have anything to say for us? Not much. Uh, to the left here. He's newly appointed regional representative for Emerald Lake Region and past Mass Council Okay, Bob, Bellevue. get over here. Okay, everybody watch up. Here's how we do Spokane can. Advisor, is that Spokane? great? You are. Oh, this is Brother Dale oh. Bell. Oh, well, that's okay. Bell Tongue. No. Costume size is a small. <laughs> <laughs> a bomb must keep all items through the race. If any are lost, you must stop and put it back on. After Apollo does all this, he runs to station three. This is the briar patch. Apollo must crawl under the twine to get his magic shield. <laughs> However, there are four teammates waiting because it has been raining in the briar patch. Go, Apollo, go. Better than ever done before. Pete. Side side this is the time to get. And oh, oh, and a ball gets it and gets a team. Hey, 
<laughs> he got the magnet shield. Now he goes to the chariot. Runaway chariot. Apollo will get into the chariot and Wait give directions to his blindfolded teammate pulling the chariot. Go! Along the course, Apollo will grab the chariot and run to fire. So he's got to tell the guy to go around the cones. Around the cones, not over them. Now, Steve, we need to grab a sword. Sword or mace? Sword or mace. Sword or mace. Sword or mace. Then, we're off to the dragon's lair. Godzilla is waiting at the end. You've seen Bob do this before. He will crawl, crawl through the crave to the lair where he will knock over the monster with his sword. Oh my word. Then he comes back to the finish line. What a proud man he is. Okay. Yeah. Are you clear, Chairman? Am I right? You're right. And what do you have to say about this Davis wonderful event today? Davis wants to show you the awards that we have for today. Olympiad, the most efficient thing you ever Team saw. Fitching. I'm having That's fun. That's his favorite word. Uh, first of all, just Shake my hand. Ah! Gotta go now. Kai 1988, Olympia Conklin. And he is the Master Counselor of, of North Hill Chapter. Nice. Glad to have you here today. If I don't, if I don't, oh, it doesn't work. Well, okay. What do you, what's your, what's your feeling about Conclave today? <laughs> I think it's been just a wonderful experience. I mean, ask me. And Bo, Bo, Bo is the man right here. Can I be one of those stupid people that walk? <laughs> Hi, we're here in 1988 at Conclave against the wonderful Olympiad, and I just happened to pick out James. I don't know your full name. Chambers. James Chambers. And he's master counselor of the Manitou chapter. Now, how do you feel about this wonderful event going on today? And also your chapter. Oh well, I'm loving these games. This is great. We we take in a first place and a second place, and uh, I don't know place, and I know we're gonna win this trial of the policy. And what region is this? Empire. Empire region. Yes. Brennan, so. ladies, that are hanging out here observing all these mighty strong young men doing. They want to be on TV. Now they're on TV. Print it. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> now she doesn't know what to do. She's really embarrassed. Panty in. Let's go. Let's see it. Here's their move. Yeah, it's the new 50s swing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Somebody, give me a beat. No. <laughs> and look at the moves. Da. They're taking their own time, and she's off. There she goes. Now she's going to the team. Now to the radio flyer. Let's get to the tunnel open or up to the dragon flyer. This is the race of the rich and famous. Come along, my ass And your belt, your belt. <laughs> what a brute! Yeah. Better not mess up. <laughs> Hi, we're here Saturday evening at Conflict Makeup. And this here is the wonderful executive officer of Washington State, Doug Vaughn. Do you have any comments for the camera, sir? Okay. Glad it's late Saturday night. Okay. It's been a great time. It's been a great week. And vote for me. <laughs> and, and I'm not running for anything except <laughs> my life. For his life. Get it.
Exciting movie is brought to you by Pepsi Cola, the choice of the new gener generation, by the Alpac Bottling Company of Seattle, Washington, no, only located in Georgetown, right next to McDonald's. As, as you can see, this Pepsi machine is very well stocked, serviced, clean, dollar bill validator. Yeah, what more do you want? Nelson. Yeah, just the pass. Oh leave no, leave no. Hey, I'm, I'm not going to take this, this anymore. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, no. oh. 
God, ow, my eye! He punched me in the eye! Ow! Oh, yeah, oh, it's on. Okay, we have to flip it outside real quick. Okay. Real quick. Wait, no, hold it. Hold it. We're on outside. Okay, we already have Mr. Gordon Olsen on. Okay, we're gonna sneak up on him. This is no way we're aware. I'm on. There we go, and we're passing him. Sure? Are you sure that it's light enough to do that? Yeah. And right here. We have a senior princess from Sammamish Valley sitting in here. Oh, uh, very lovely, very beautiful. Now, what are you going to do for the front end? Oh, interview the front desk lady. We have him, he's counting the bills, keeping track of the receipts. <laughs> We're making a movie, eh? And, and here we have him. Movie, huh? And as you can see, Diet Pepsi is obviously on his desk, a wonderful sign of intelligence and right wing conservativeness. <laughs> We have a running commentary. Do you have any comments you'd like to add? Yeah. What are you talking about? Oh, we're just talking about this hotel. Do you have a commercial for us? Commercial? I don't care. 2 a.m. in the morning. Come back when you're 21. Oh, okay. Apple Blossom Queen and all the rest are her court. As you can see, they are very red. Print. Is that? Oh no! Oh. Look at what we caught in the elevator. The Himalayan scandal at his back. Good enough for National Enquirer. The OJ scandal. Okay, okay, we're embarrassed now. You can. Oh God! <laughs> we'll leave them. Bet on their peace. <laughs> the mirror ball. Let's go. Light. What do your cleaning ladies think of this, man? They look at that trophy and they passed out. Yeah. Check out this trophy, guys. Membership. I'm we're going to have to take that from you next time. <laughs> Stay back there, John. I just no. started. No, get someone in there. Uh, my eyes are really... I'm just new. They're not going. Let's no, go, my, Mark. My eyes are really tweaking out. Party. I guess we're moving even more furniture. What makes it a first season? I'm just getting the door unlocked. It doesn't matter. Oh, just kidding. Oh. That's disgusting. We can do pretty much anything, Mike. Hey, who's next? I will. Hurry up. Wait, let me get my pants on, eh? Okay. 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 Whoa. Whoa. You turned around four times. You're the box, the box. I'm trying to, I'm just getting up to view. Okay, is it? Please don't have to put your... I like to use my hips. This 
guy here needs a whole dance floor to dance. I walked by him earlier. And I mean, it's like. Oh, yeah. Mark, hey, John. Yeah. How am I doing wrong? I don't know. I can't tell you because you're doing backwards with me. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, let's pull it out. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. So you you fucking left the door open, wide open. Conclave, yes, a wonderful Sunday morning at about 9.15 of this wonderful holiday. Excuse me. Get out of here. And we have this young man from Oregon, Oregon. 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 Oh, it's Tim this His spot. name is Tim McCurry from Oregon. Now, we'd like to have your feelings about the Washington State Conclave. Well, it feels very good. <laughs> Serious. I feel I like Oregon, or Washington's Conclave. I want to invite everybody down to ours, and you guys are really kind of cool. <laughs> Print it. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, not yet. Oh, too late, it's already going. Okay, well here, here, it's Sunday, Sunday morning again, and this is, I can't remember your name or where you're at, you're probably uh, James but, Temple, Senior Counselor, Northern California. Northern California, how do you feel about Washington State's conclave this year? Uh, I just, I'm drained, I'm drained. I have, you know, I've given all I can all weekend, and still, I can't do no more, I can't do no more. Oh, James! Oh, I love when you do that. Um, <laughs> It was wonderful, you know, excitement and lots of girls and, you know, give them my phone number, tell them where they can reach me. It was okay. wonderful. Okay, and you? Would you like to be interviewed too? <laughs> this was great. It was no, we're, we, gotta, we need your name and where you're from. I'm Jeff from Southern California. I'm Deputy Master Counselor. That's too close. 
This was fun. And I want to come back for your WOFAB, but I don't know if I'll have the money to do it. But yeah. since you bought all my Southern California GMLA pins, maybe I will. All right, print it. Too late. Your official ring. At the International Congress. Okay. Right. Roll it. Okay. Hi, we're here Sunday morning again, and this year is Paul Jacobson, the International Secretary Congressman Yay. from ISC. Now, Paul, how do you feel about Washington State's team of this year? It was pretty darn awesome. I'm very impressed. I was impressed with everybody. <laughs> the out of state group was wonderful. Uh, Shoreline chapter won everything. It was marvelous. It was a wonderful time. And frankly, I have to go big potty, but otherwise, everything's fine. Print it. Go. Sunday morning at Washington State Conclave, and this is a new state sweetheart, uh, Kirsten, 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 <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot, it came harder. Kristen Krause, of course, and, and what are your comments on this conclave? She's tired. <laughs> Now come on, you're gonna see this now. <laughs> Just say something. How, how, how are you feeling? Really good. Yeah, really good. <laughs> Get the camera off her. She's a little shy. Wait, wait, wait. Say hi to Bill Turner, okay? Hi, Bill. Nice to see you. Okay. Kinda. Okay. Take care. Hey, that's all there is to it. Okay. Thank you. Well, as you can see, we've made a wonderful movie here at Conclave. It's sort of depressing having to go home after you know having such a great time. And I'd love to say hi to my parents and thank them for this being all possible for many issues of video camera. Thanks to Mark, the cameraman, John, the producer, Bo, the director, and this wonderful whole conclave staff. And and I'd like to thank everyone for having the, op the actual opportunity to come to conclave for free. <laughs> from now on, you'll just see a few highway shots, maybe a few police officers. Yeah. That's all there is to it. This is John and Bo saying. <laughs> This here is Mike Bishop of Oregon School Cat Order of Human Life General of the Afternoon. What are you feeling about Tom Square, baby? She had bigger dances. <laughs> Already have a picture of it. <laughs> Ready? Have her on film. <laughs> oh, look at who we have here. Final shot of Doug Vaughn as we're departing. Go shake his hand. Go shake his hand. What are you done talking with this guy? Just reach out there and shake his hand. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. What are we doing here now? We're being interviewed. This is the evening news. This is the end. This is the end of the news. Is there an interview? Yeah, go ahead. Tell us how we did. We did great. We did great? Great. Everybody did great. You guys did great. Love that big trophy you got, right? You gonna get it again next year? Don't don't nod the camera. Just nod your head. Cool thing to put my car. Hey, how are you? <laughs> We're filming, eh? Weird picture, huh? Are you on the inside or outside? You want to go outside? Oh. Okay.
What are we waiting for? Johnny. Oh, where's Johnny? Who's Johnny? Where is the wordy part? Just, uh, what did we, we just ate breakfast. Where did we eat breakfast, Bo? Crystals and Leavenworth. Uh, gosh, how many miles we got ahead of us now? Oh, I don't know. Three or four thousand. Okay. Look at the beautiful mountains. Oh, get a picture of the Heidelberg. Where? Up to the right. Okay. The big Pepsi sign. See, more Pepsi. Pepsi is everywhere. Eh, uh, kind of like crime and this. It's the Garlingtons. Oh. Who else is behind them? Oh, is that the Campbell van back there? No, that's the Danison van. Anyway, Bo, we're sitting here. We want this to be a witness to everybody. We're really tired. Oh, really tired, eh? And we're not sure if we're going to make it home. We're not we sure sleep on the road. We only have another, it's 98 more miles. And we're falling asleep, and Bo might fall asleep at the wheel. Oh, no, that's serious. Serious, though, you know? So if you find this tape in the wreck, goodbye. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're sorry, but Conclave did it to us. It's all Dimalay's fault. Yes. No, no, Sue, no. Sue Dimalay. <laughs> no. Just kidding. Anyway. Where do you think we are? Okay, I'm gonna pretend like we're hitting warp speed, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, go! Uh... Have a wave. Come on, Mark. Oh, Move your head, lean forward then, lean forward. There's a good shot. And look at how she scoops the ice cream. Come on, do a commentary for us, Mark. rolling. <laughs> There's a couple there and a waiter keeps bringing presents and champagne <laughs> without saying the donor's name <laughs> or anything. <laughs> There was a pause, and one of those nice young waiters began talking about cricket. Now, I have never understood cricket all my life. Neither have I. Nor have I ever been able to get that accent. He is a delight to listen to, and you may learn very little about the sport, but you'll <laughs> love it. This is it. <laughs> Yeah, I play cricket. I played it for Saturday afternoon. Do you really? Yeah. I mean, are you good at bowling or batting? I'm a batter, opening batsman, and a keeper. A what? Keeper. He's what? got gloves. A wicked keeper. How do you spell that, Cooper? Cooper, K-E-E-P-E-R. 
I'm not kidding, man. A keeper? A keeper. Like he stands behind the stumps when the ball is coming in. And they call him a keeper? Keeper. K double E P E R. Keeper. A keeper. That's it. Oh, boy, that's that's a keeper, right? Yeah, and you can run on it, and that gives you runs. Yeah, what about the boys? That's, that's, um... You mean like small boys? No, um... Um... Uh, bays? Uh, boys. 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 Well, what we say is a man no. and a boy. No. No, what do you say? Boys. Boys is, um, like, um... B-E-Y-E. Yes, boys. Boy, before I leave Australia, I gotta find out what that word is. Yeah. Uh, it's spelled? B-E-Y-E. Boys. Hi, everybody. I'm Mary Hart. Usually, I bring you entertainment news. But for my assignment on Candid Camera, I got to be a professional electrician. Understand that I have a hard time flipping on my hair blower in the morning. So to come in and fix this Christmas tree, well, you could say it was sort of shocking. But it was a lot of fun. And as I got into disguise, here's what happened. I hope she does get there. Hi there. All right. Don't one. forget. Push her mm. good. OK. Hmm. Got a problem over here with the Christmas tree. I have to take care of it, I suppose. OK. Jeez, I thought it was a big job. You don't know. She doesn't say much. What's this doing? Well, OK, this is plugged into everything the same. Tell you what, I'm just going to run a little test here. It's so far, it looks like somebody's worked. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. A little short. Okay. Yeah. You just sit down and relax and the the, the big and... cheese said basically that I mean, obviously there's a situation and it's out of control. So if you can at least take care of the tree, if it if there appears to be some more of these uh bursts, spontaneous combustions. We have to probably get a different electrician. Look, I've only been here for a couple minutes. I mean, it's, uh, you know, this Go is for it. not like World War III or anything. Yeah. I love these guys who want everything for free, you know. Come in, work for 20 minutes, we'll pay you 10 bucks and go. We want everything solved. Let me try this. Maybe I could call the... Look, I know exactly what I'm doing. I do this stuff all the time. Hello? Yeah, there... She seems to be uh, having a problem here with uh, the tree. Should I... I know exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. He says that... Okay, you're different. I'm new. I'm not, I'm not involved with this. Person. I'm not new. I know exactly what I'm doing, but it takes time. This is not something that I can just do like mm -hmm. that. You know, I mean, I've got to be able to do this. Mm -hmm. And I've got to have some time. Nobody else is going to be able to come in here and do it. You just sit down and, and do what you need to do and ignore me, okay? Let me do one more reading here. Um, I know what the f we've got. Christmas tray. Kelly. Mm hmm How are we doing? Well... I don't really know what she's doing, so I'm just going to Hey, honey, I know exactly yeah. what I'm doing. Kelly. Mm-hmm. Could you ask her to keep quiet so I can hear you? I mean, really? Hey, excuse uh, me. One second, please. Kelly. Sure. Tell me, my good friend, what's going on? Well, there appears to be a minor short with the uh, Christmas tree, and the young lady is, uh, she hasn't even disconnected the electricity, and she's not checking the, uh, I don't think, I don't she doesn't know what she's doing. Bottom line is she doesn't know what she's doing. <laughs> does she look she's like good looking, though, so, you know. Oh, yeah, wait. Let's be a chauvinist about it. I can do does the she, job. Does she look like somebody famous? Ch uh, Kelly? No. Does she look like Mary, Mary Hart? No. She doesn't look like Mary Hart. Ask her to take her hat off just for a second. You take your hat off just for a second. She looks a little more like her now. What is she doing there as an electrician? Playing a joke on Kelly Klein. Kelly, look that away and smile. You're on candid camera. Uh -huh. <laughs> and this is Dr. Funt. <laughs> right. 
Every once in a while, we like to browse through the candid camera library. And we found a few scenes that are about Christmas. They go back to the early 60s. But I think they may be worth a second look. How old are you? Five. Did you ever believe in Santa Claus? No. When you were four? I've no. never seen him. When you were three? No. When you were one year old? No. I'm Well, it's such a sweet story, isn't it? Yes. Well, why can't you believe in it? Because there's no such thing as it. My mother told me, and my sister told me, and my brother told me, and my father told me. There's no such thing as Santa Claus. Is there such a thing as an Easter bunny? Yes. I got a song of him. You got a song of him? Is yeah. It? I'd love to hear it. Let's see. Can I sing it low or high? Sing it low or high. Either way you want to. Try it high. Okay. If I could sing. You better watch. You better watch. You better watch. You better sing it low. <laughs> but this tells about children. Oh. I think I'll look you up here. Okay. What's your other name? Beverly what? My middle name is Jane. And your last name? Appel. Beverly Jane Appel. Appel. Apple. You know, I'm not Christmas girl. I'm Jewish. <laughs> you don't, you don't uh, hate me or anything, do no, you? No, I love, I like you. Huh? <laughs> right, because I, you know, I, I'm, I'm friends with everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that funny? What? You're in my book. Yeah? Oh. I think, I think everybody's in my book. Yeah? Oh. Lori, darling, would you do me a favor? I'm not Lori. Oh, beg your pardon. Your name is? Beverly. Beverly. <laughs> you get I, so mixed up, I right? I got so... <laughs> and you get mixed up always. A little. Now, now, tell me something, Beverly, before we say goodbye now. Are you one of the kissing girls, hugging, or shaking hands? Everything. The worst. Let's see. <laughs> Gee, that made my day better. Good. So long, honey. Hi. Remember our secret. Remember. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. This is my hair in the morning. So I wash it, just like you, and blow it dry, just like you. So how come my hair looks great despite all this? I discovered Pantene. Pantene's pro-vitamin B5 complex penetrates your hair to give it inner strength so it looks healthier, stronger. And it's always beautiful, just like mine. Pantene shampoos and conditioners, serious care for beautiful hair. When you taste new Pringles Idaho Ripple Potato Chips, you better fasten your taste buds and get ready for a Pringles like you've never had before. Prepare yourself now for the only rich chip made from 100% Idaho potatoes. So amazingly hearty! So outrageously crunchy! The taste is out of this world! New Idaho Ripple Potato Chips in original taco and cheddar and French onion flavors. So overwhelmingly delicious, you better fasten your taste buds! Introducing a new dawn, Mountain Spring Dawn. Now the same tough grease-cutting ability as original dawn comes with a clean, fresh scent. Mountain Spring Dawn dishwashing liquid, the fresh new way to cut grease. When your sore throat is slow torture, Chloroseptic stops the pain and fast. How fast? So fast, she'll feel relief even before we can finish this commercial. Dreams of love. Maybe we'll never see each other again. Thoughts of life and death. I killed a child. Tour of duty. And Rick and AJ show a novice the tricks of the trade. I want to learn everything you have to teach me. Everything? It's the school of hard knocks on Simon and Simon. Then, old lovers. Let's come over here and jump into bed with your ex-wife again for old time's sake. Their new encounters. It's been 20 years. On Knott's Landing, all Thursday.
Ladies and gentlemen, we try to cram a lot of candid camera into this hour. That gave us just a little time to say, on behalf of John, myself, the candid camera staff, and all of our wonderful guests, have a great holiday. Good night, everybody. Magnum P.I. will be back on January 13th. One week from tonight, celebrate the holidays with Top of the Pops, a very special Christmas. Next Wednesday at 8.